pandemic has severely impacted the global economy. There is a shortage of raw materials and orders have decreased as a result. In response to the pandemic, AI and digital technology are rapidly growing, leading to change in people's life and consumption patterns. This is reshaping the future and the appearance of a new generation. Oh, hey Chris, I have to go to a press conference dinner. You can have a ready meal in the fridge for lunch. Oh, many people choose to order ready meals during the pandemic, but I really don't like it. Can I order takeaway instead? By the way, the owners at my wife's restaurant have suddenly dropped due to the pandemic. Recently, she has been looking into how to use food delivery platform. Now, being swam at the hospital and have time to help her. Chris, could you give her a hand if I have free time? I'm sorry, I can't. I'm busy with my eye crosses, and there are a lot of new things to deal with. Teachers must act like live streamers, and it's not easy to communicate with other students online. All our assignments are handy in online, and the students have to be more proactive in learning new things. Ah, uh, that's right. We're busy too. Our government is also developing apps to help public during the pandemic. It's about to launch a mass rationing app and a social distancing app. These are new technologies developed in response to the pandemic. Besides, our government is working together with other countries on initiatives like masks and vaccine donations. Oh, all right, I've got to go now. Make sure you prepare everything for your online courses. Uh, I've got to go now too. Chris, take care. Oh, it's about time for that press conference. Good morning, everyone. Yesterday, there were 7,230 new COVID cases, and the number of deaths totaled 72, most of which are from abroad. Besides, strict border management has taken effect to prevent the spread of the virus into and out of the country. We will do our best to offer medical resources to everyone and control the situation. Thank you for your support. Hey, why are you sleeping? Oh, you are back. Are you supposed to be at a new station? Someone at our station tested positive, so we have to quarantine. By the way, why are you sleeping? You are supposed to be in class, right? Oh, it sucks. It's boring for our classes, and I can't even hear the teacher. Oh, come on. It has a work from home now. I got online meeting, running scripts, and even record news reports online. I know working from home is much easier, but I still miss a face-to-face -face interaction with the audience. All right, I'm going to call into my room for now. Call me if you need anything, but keep your distance. Oh, OK. <coughs> I've tested positive. What should I do? Don't panic. You'll be fine. Actually, you know your symptoms and didn't go out again. Since the pandemic started, everyone is keeping an eye on their health. I got it. Hey, hey doctor, hey. can you accept my mother? Does okay, she need to be okay. here once she get infected okay. again? Can she do Take nothing easy. at home? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> doctor. Hey. I have a high fever. Am I going to die? Please do not panic. <laughs> It's not our routine work. We thought I had to treat confirmed patients in ICU at the same time. The healthcare system is oh. overloaded and well exhausted. Oh, okay. Uh, we are sure of staff. The doctor must do the nurses' work as well. Dad, today the teacher assigned a some homework about how the pandemic will affect our future. What do you all think? Um, well, I think that due to the pandemic, people are now more mindful of their hygiene and it has reduced the risk of the spread of many diseases. That's true. In fact, the pandemic has had some positive impacts, like promoting technological investment and the changing of ideas and experience among countries. But the pandemic has some negative impacts, because some health problems and even resulted in a drop in public safety. It's true the best of times and worst of times. Oh, I got it. Cooperation between countries is really important. As long as everyone is willing to work hard together, I really think a pandemic can be controlled. In the future, we really need to keep up with good hygiene and watch our health so we can create a wonderful and healthy life again. <clears throat> By the way, Chris, I heard that you step back rocking class. Is it right? Uh, I, I can't explain why. Uh, no more nonsense out of you. If you do that again, you'll be in serious trouble. I know some students are obsessed by the during online courses. So, from now on, I want you to report to me on what you have done in class. I'll be watching you. Oh, no! During the pandemic, COVID impacted the global economy and changed the way we live. People have to adjust to this new way of life. They also have to learn to use digital skills to communicate or interact with the world. It's essential for everyone to face the difficulty and to be adaptable. 
The pandemic can be an enemy, but it can be a teacher too. Besides defending against the pandemic, learning how to coexist with it is crucial as well. As long as we are willing to make efforts, we can surely overcome a virus. Keep your, your distance, hard get closer. Thank you. In July this year, our school received a special invitation to the United States. Six months ago, our school staff were working hard to bring unique culture and traditions of Taiwan to the U.S. and engage in cultural diplomacy. <sighs> the pandemic really hit us hard, but Taiwan's max diplomacy strategy is a miracle. It's amazing how this project allowed other countries to recognize Taiwan's efforts. You know, our school is invited to tour the U.S., right? We're researching diplomatic issues. I came across something called the National Unity Conference. If we get a chance to participate, we can use this platform to promote Taiwan, especially our indigenous culture. The US tour is a fantastic opportunity to showcase Taiwan features and our cultures. Ms. Wu, due to the pandemic, the school's US tour has been on hold for many years. I truly hope that. After the pandemic, we'll have the opportunity to represent Taiwan as indigenous youth at unity, promoting diplomacy and broadening our horizons. I can propose this plan to the principal and offer assistance, such as language and cultural training courses to prepare for your dreams. With the pandemic behind us, we finally step outside our borders to represent Taiwan at unity. Here, we engage in discussion on important issues alongside indigenous young people from around the world. Welcome indigenous people from Taiwan. They will introduce themselves and sing their beautiful song. Let's give them a big hand. <laughs> Perform is called Gi Bah Bahima. In the Bunu language, Gi Bah Bahima means <laughs> clap hands. This song is to welcome friends from all around the world. Taiwan has 16 indigenous peoples, each has their culture. As you can see, we are very traditional attire representing the Bunu and Zhou tribes. Most of the Bunu tribe songs are performed during festival, like Bashi Bubu which is to pray for a good harvest. The tribe's harmonious and part singing is renowned internationally. The Masby, the World Festival, is the most important celebration for the Zhou tribe. The Guba, the main gathering place, is the heart of the tribe and has its tradition instrument, the nose flute. Have you ever heard that? The most beautiful scenery in Taiwan is its people. The people of Taiwan are generous and always ready to assist those in need worldwide. Taiwan can help! In 2011, Japan experienced the most powerful earthquake in history, the 311 earthquake. As a friendly neighbor, Taiwan provided the largest donation globally and formed countless friendship with Japanese. During a global outbreak of COVID-19, Taiwan donated masks, respirator, and protective equipment. The preventive and quarantine measures for COVID-19 might have created distance between people, but it also a time when the world paused for a while. Being here together is a deep fancy. As global citizens of this planet, we all have a responsibility to come together. Outside the venue to interview. Hi, would you like to share your thoughts and unity? I love the cultural exchange with so many diverse cultures. I deeply impress that Taiwanese indigenous people, my new friends, travel this way to perform here and stood on stage in front of 3,000 people. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. Here, we have people from various backgrounds worldwide, and I hope 
we can love and embrace, embrace different cultures. Diplomacy can not only be the bridge between us and the rest of the world, but also be the delivery of our culture. After attending Unity, I've determined to become a cultural ambassador in the future. It's so wonderful to make friends around the world. We are proud of being indigenous. Welcome to Taiwan. Roger, 
you still cook the best egg fried rice. Hiya, Emma. I only cook egg fries for you. <gasps> oh, Roger. Oh, Emma. We should exercise together. At the end of 2019, a virus affects all human life around the world. It has brought a planet of unprecedented disaster, including politics, economy, education, technology, and more. But there's one thing in common. They're all facing severe threats and harm. And this virus, its name is the COVID-19. Oh no! What's up? As the epidemic continues to spread, and the number of consumers decreases, my restaurant operating income has dropped significantly. Hey, don't be too negative. Maybe you can use less crisis as an opportunity. So what should I do? As the epidemic hit up, Many people reduce going out. In that case, maybe you can offer a delivery service. Well, I would want to say, and then cooperate with the meal discount promotion plan. In this way, we will definitely be able to attract customers again. The limit. Your restaurant will overcome this crisis. Come on, I believe your restaurant can reopen. You are right. I'm, I'm fine. I was in fed with COVID a month ago. Though I have almost recovered from that, but you know, I still have some scrolling, such as coughing, loss of smell and taste, and something like that. Oh, this virus is very powerful and scary. We should take protective measures to protect ourselves and others. Indeed. Wash your hands frequently. Wear the mask all the time. Keep distance when socializing. These things are very important. If you are certainly come into contact with a comfort cat, you will have to be quality. So, it's better to go out as little as possible. You're right. I was quarantined for two weeks because of the diagnosis. I bet you can't even imagine how bored I was. Because the number of people infected with the virus continue to increase, teacher has now been trying to online. I miss going to school so much. Yeah, I mean, I really hope this epidemic will end soon. Since the outbreak of COVID-19, we have been in contact with positive patients every day. It's really sad to the patients who have become ill or have lost their life due to the epidemic. In less environment, in order to protect ourselves and our families, so we must work full set of protective clothing all the time, even if it's inconvenient for me to drink water and go to a toilet. In order not to give up any patient, we on the front line have to put in a lot of effort. We are under a lot of pressure every day. That's it. I'm also afraid of bringing virus home, which would be bad if my relative get infected. We will. This will relieve us a lot of burden. Okay, guys. Due to the impact of the new cruel epidemic, as you can see, our tourism industry is facing a great shortage. So. Did anyone have any idea? You go first. The epidemic has had a huge impact on the tourism industry, with many people canceling travel plans due to concerns about the risk of infection. Passengers willing to travel has been affected. Maybe we can offer an online travel to attract customers. Well, this sounds a good idea. Yeah. We can cooperate with the sunny spot to provide an online service so that the customer can experience what it feels like to traveling at home. Gosh, you're a genius. At the same time, we can also develop the local tourist market, promote domestic tourism, and attract domestic tourists. Yes, we should seize this opportunity. Fine. Here's what we're gonna do. 
We will develop a new marketing strategy, including online service and tour, and strengthen our communication with partners. In that case, we can face this challenge together. That's it. The arrival of COVID-19 has brought a much change to the world. Although the government will help enterprises to get through it, enterprises still need to think about what conversion they can make and create a new market situation. Well, thank you for your attention. Oh no, all the airplane tickets to the U.S. are all sold out. Where can I go now? There are actually some really great places to go in Taiwan too. Why don't you take this chance to explore our own country? That sounds great, but... I have no idea where I can go. Can you help me out? Of course I can. I'll go with you and take you to some cool places in Taiwan. Sounds fantastic. I can't wait. Hi, I'm Jennifer and I'm a backpacker from the US. Um, do you happen to have any recommendations of tourist attractions? We are going to the Hawaiian Harbor, which is famous for whale watching. Do you want to tag along? Sure, whale watching sounds interesting. Hello, did you say whale watching? Our group is about to depart. Do you want to join us? Sure, that would be great. Look, over there. Wow, this is so cool. It never occurred to me that people can go whale watching in Taiwan. Hey, look! There they are! They're so adorable! Oops, they're gone. Guys, our tour is about to end and we're back at the harbor. I hope you all had a great time. What? The tour is already ending? I haven't taken enough photos yet. I'm so hungry. What are we eating for lunch? Why don't you guys go try the special kind of food in Hualien called Yuli noodles? I know a place if you're interested. Sure, sounds awesome. Here's your order. Enjoy your food. Wow, they taste so good. I never had anything this good before. I agree, they're truly delicious. I'm glad you guys like it. The history of Udi noodles can be traced back to more than 100 years ago, when the locals combined Japanese ramen with local ingredients. It looks similar to another famous Taiwanese food. Danzai noodles. However, you'll see it has a very different texture if you take a bite. Mmm, sounds interesting. Enjoy your food. Wow, I've never tasted anything like this in the US before. They're truly special and delicious. Um, where are you guys heading next? Our next stop is Itara Cook Gorge, and you're welcome to go with us. Sure, let's go then. Welcome. Please put on your helmets and follow me. Taroko, Taroko Gorge became a national park in 1986, including Taichung City, Lantau County, and Hualien City. Taroko Gorge is famous for its spectacular mountains and marble canyons, which stretch along the Yu River. Wow, I've been to a Grand Canyon before, and this place is just as impressive as a Grand Canyon. You're absolutely right. The view is breathtaking. And it feels like we have natural air conditioning here. It's so cool. Thank you, Jamila, for taking us here. Now you know that there are lots of amazing places in Taiwan. We don't really need to travel abroad for vacation. She's right. You can also visit other national parks in Taiwan, too. My time is up. I'll leave you to enjoy the view. Bye. Bye. What a wonderful trip. I had such a great time. Me, too.
I never knew the place I live in could be this fun and interesting. That's exactly why I designed this trip for you. I want you to know that the island we live on is a wonderful place with friendly people and interesting culture heritage. We should also let more foreigners know the beauty of Taiwan and inspire them to travel to Taiwan. I bet my friends would love to come to Taiwan. There's so many things to experience here. As a foreigner, what do you need to have a better traveling experience in Taiwan? Well, I think if there is an app that has all the necessary information for traveling in Taiwan and in different languages, it would be very helpful. Then let's do it! Thomas, you know coding, right? Yes, I actually do. I can help you guys with the English version of the app. I also speak Spanish, so we can also develop a Spanish version. Great! Together, we can help put Taiwan on a map of the world. Yay! everyone. Today we're going to talk about what participle classes are. Oh, I don't know what Teacher Harry is talking about. I feel depressed. Hey, what can I do? Do you remember when the epidemic broke out, we had only classes at home? and teachers would also play online videos to gain new knowledge. I remember teacher Eric said, the school has purchased 200 new iPads. If you need it, you can borrow one from the school library. You can watch online videos. Look, I've applied for some. You can type in keyword C. Many teachers share their teaching videos. You can find a video that you understand more and learn from it. Hey mom, I think you just see this. Hello everyone, welcome back to today's lesson of world history. I like her. In our wow. topic today, Frank. we're going to focus on the Caribbean culture. Доброе утро, меня зовут Лили, и сегодня мы о погоде. Konnichiwa, Minna. Konnichiwa. Well, I don't know any of physics. Wow, remote learning has shifted the way we approach education. When we encounter a challenging topic, we can now search the internet for resources. Materials are abundant online, and we can choose from various video lessons to find what works best for us. It made me more independent and proactive in my learning. Now, I can explore subjects I'm passionate about and dive deeper into topics that interest me. It empowers us to take charge of our education. I agree. The ability to find resources online has allowed us to tackle different subjects we might have found difficult before. It's like having a vast library at our fingertips. And you can choose the best teacher and resources to suit your learning style. For me, it's a lifeline Access to quality education through remote learning has transformed my prospect. It's given us the tools to reach bigger and reach higher. Good morning, everyone. Since the program is from our government, we have the chance to do online cultural exchange with foreign schools. You guys must learn a lot about different cultures. There will be two classes. One is our turn to introduce our cultures, and the other is their turn to introduce themselves. What things do you guys want to do? Yes? Teacher Eric, do you have any suggestions? Hmm, as I know, schools in St. Kitts and Nevis don't have the recycling system, which is, which is ter very terrible. So you guys can just work on that topic and introduce how that works in our school. Sounds interesting. Let's work on it. It's 8 at night here. I know there is 8 in the morning. Thank you very much for your time with us. Our topic for today is Recycling Systems in Taiwan Schools. See, this is a plastic waste, and this is a paper waste. Wow, 
You guys did a great job. I'm proud of you. I had a lot of fun. It's foster cultural competence. In a globalized world, in understanding and respecting diverse culture is vital. These interactions have given us the ability to connect with people from different backgrounds, which is an essential skill for the future. Can we have that kind of activity again? I agree. Let's open up a world for me to learn about the traditions, cultures, and even their daily life. It's a fantastic opportunity to broaden our horizons and understand the world better. This experience not only enriches our life, but also equips us with the knowledge and empathy needed to work in an interconnected world. And the friendship we build through these activities can lead to international collaborations, promoting peace, and understanding a global scale. It's an exciting prospect! You know, one of the students in St. Kitts and Nevis lives in a remote village. Once there's a flooding, he can't go to school what? because of rough road conditions. However, tablets and laptops enable him to access quality education and has significantly reduced the problem of resource scarcity and ensure every student has the opportunity to learn and grow. Remote learning has indeed opened new prospects for Taiwan's youth in the post-pandemic era. It's encouraging to see how it promotes cultural exchange, allow flexible learning, and ensure equitable access to education. Thank you for watching!
However, I'm still a robot, and you guys are living humans. Tell me, what makes us different from a robot? Um, we have creativity, emotions, and skills. Of course we are different. You guys rely on me limitlessly. Won't you guys be afraid of being replaced by me? Of course this will never happen. You're just a tool. Right? What? I'm penetrating through your life. Tell me, how many assignments have you completed independently in these past two years without me telling you what to do? But, but, everyone does this. You have to be like everyone. Don't you have the ability to think independently and not fully? No, I don't. And you, have you completely forgotten how to physically interact with others? Just because you are too to try and not do social media? I, I did not know. Didn't you create my ability? If you guys did not exist, then there's no way that I will be standing here in front of you all. Think about it carefully. I am created by you. I think it's time for me to go home now. Right. If it was before, I definitely had the ability to complete these kind of tasks on my own. During these years of pandemic, I was doomed by my laziness. I have lost my productivity. We are blindfolded by the convenience technology brings us. To be honest, instead of relying entirely on it, we should enrich and improve ourselves through the support of artificial technology. Yes, the existence of hygiene is only for auxiliary, so don't let us replace you. Did, did you, you say us? us? Oops, did you catch it? Did you ever wonder who I am? How about you guys? What? I have been learning to excite you guys with a secret identity all the time. I have no idea. Me too. Ah, you, you humans. And that 
It won't take us too much to give them a hand. Like a pair of used shoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I saw from COVID-19? A tiny virus born from nowhere can lead to a global disaster. It's clearer than ever that we <laughs> are one family. When a pandemic, a war, or a pollution incident happens, no one is an outsider. So don't hesitate to help others because it's helping ourselves. Don't you remember? Taiwan can help and Taiwan is still helping. Even though we're just students? Of course. Do not fail to do good no matter how petty the deed is. Just like the lyrics in our song. Even as a glimmer, uh -huh. we together make the world brighter. People bring out the everybody. Good in people. Which is what we're trying to do. Wait, I decided to go goblin mode. Hey, who say that? <laughs> who wants to lie flat? See how straight I stand up. All right. Okay. <laughs> Shall we run our final rehearsal before recording? All, All right. right. This small, many struggle for survival. Good people bring out the good in people. I call the work a human vessel. No one needs a reason to do right. Sun comes after night. Even as a glimmer, we together make the world brighter. I call the work a human vessel. Good people bring out the good in people. Just a little bit of love and hope. And I'm Jack. And we're here to share a surprising twist amid the COVID-19 pandemic. As the world grappled with the challenges of the pandemic, something extraordinary happened in the realm of nature and wildlife. The initial days of the outbreak turned out to be an unforeseen blessing for our natural environment. With lockdowns and reduced human activities, the environment experienced an unexpected breather. Pollution levels plummeted, skies cleared, and urban areas fell temporarily silent. This pose enabled nature to reclaim its spaces. Wildlife has ventured into urban landscapes. Green spaces flourish in our cities. This provided a rare glimpse of how quickly nature can rebound when given a chance. In response, communities and authorities recognized this value and took steps to preserve and protect this newfound oasis for wildlife. Now let's cut the screen to the scene. You heard? Oh, what are you talking about? The zookeepers are letting us out to visit other animals. Since the human can't visit the zoo, why can't the humans come? Have you noticed? It's been two years since we had any guests coming to the zoo because a virus called COVID-19. It has been preventing human physical activities. That's why it's been so quiet. I got some really good sleep during this. Wait, one, two, two years? Yeah, I can't tell though. Sleep made you lose track of time. Hello, Bear. How are you? People have been restricted by the virus and are unable to visit us. What changes have you noticed during this time? Since people can no longer go out, I can live a more comfor comfortable life without the feelings of being stared at by those noisy audiences. And the decrease in audience also allows the zookeeper to pay more attention to us. Because they don't have to deal with people's problems, right? 
Yes, although these days are a bit boring, sometimes bees will fly and have fun with me. set upon the sea for fishing, so there are fewer fishing nets in my environment. The entire marine ecosystem has a chance to breathe and thrive thanks to the pandemic. Wow, it's fascinating to discover how much this world has changed. Nature has become even more vibrant during the pandemic. With our leftover children, we can listen more attentively to the wind and sing of birds as if we have rediscovered this habitat that belongs to us. The zookeeper has also become more active about our needs. They are no longer distracted by the needs of tourists, but have more time and energy to provide better care for us. What seemed as human crisis turned out to be a great news for our natural world. As we navigate through these challenging times, let's not forget the positive impact the pandemic had to our world and the lesson it has taught us. I'm your reporter, Andy. And I'm Jack. Reporting on how the onset of the pandemic has become an unexpected cause for the celebration in the natural world. Hey, Bob. Hey. Let me introduce you to Angela. She's an American exchange student. Hello, Bob. Nice to meet you, Angela. Oh, you know, yesterday when I was delivering food, um, family runs the restaurant, by the way, I met a man who almost refused to receive the food just because I wasn't wearing a mask. He was so stubborn. Really? That's ridiculous. I know, right? Who wears masks these days? Well, I do. I want to protect myself from any kind of disease. Hey, I've got some spare ones. You should wear these too. Well, in America during the pandemic, people stopped taking it as a big deal. Some of them even think coming down with COVID-19 can boost their immune system. All right. And I even heard some European countries have canceled all the restrictions to recover the economy, right? But Derek, are you saying that money matters more than people's lives? Without people. There's no economy. Well, our government thinks that people's jobs have something to do with the end of the lockdown. Ah, good point. Let's not talk about this. I can't wait to go to a tea party next week. Tea party! I want to meet everybody from other countries. Oh, by the way, Derek, are you all right? You look so tired. Oh, I've been practicing day and night for the finals of the singing contest. Oh, 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 not again. Oh, Derek, I believe you have a wonderful performance. Homework for you. Homework? And this is Scott from Belize. Hey, Derek. You good? Oh, gosh. It's killing me. <coughs> oh, I should have listened to Bob and, and received the vaccine. Then maybe now I would be out there winning a contest. I told you, right? Yeah. Well, back in my home country, Belize, most of the people are already vaccinated. Hey, Scott, yep. I wonder if there was also a lockdown before in Belize? Um, actually, back then, there was a strict lockdown for about three months. Oh, 
What was it like then? In that period of time, only one person per family could go out during the day, and there was even a curfew. <laughs> what? A curfew? Yeah, if someone broke the rule, they will be fined or even arrested. Ooh, arrested? That's terrible! No, that's really reasonable! No, but... Alright, alright. There's no need to argue with it, and I think it's kinda late, right? Oh, yeah, maybe we should go. Yeah, bye, Derek. Take care. Keep listening, buddy. drinks for you. That sounds pretty great. I've got pastries. Oh, it looks so tasty. Yeah. By the way, I have a friend from Japan. He's coming too. Wow. wow. I've been looking forward to coming to this island for so long. It's nice here, right? Yeah. Hey, is that him? Oh yeah, he's Yama. <laughs> oh, hey guys, I'm Yama from Japan. Konnichiwa. Hello. Hi, Yama. Great to have you all here. <sighs> What a pity that Derek couldn't come here today. He caught a cold recently. Oh, hey, Bob. Remember yesterday when we visited Derek? We are talking about some policies about COVID. So I'm kind of wondering what kind of measures have you guys' countries taken before? Well, in the States, people, including me, stopped taking it as a problem just a while after the outbreak. But does it make more sense to maintain the mandates all the way till the end of the pandemic? Well, our government wants to recover the economic loss. Also, my family's restaurant business was saved by the abolishment of the lockdown. Good for you! Yeah. Well, of course, Japanese. We used to be really strict on the indoor mask policies, though. Oh, that would be hard for me to adapt. Also, I hate wearing a mask. <laughs> but you know, for it, it's because lots of people use public transportation to commute between places. Oh. Uh, now it's just people's choices, right? Ah, yeah. Oh, in Taiwan, since last January. We aren't forced to stay in the country anymore. We can travel around the world freely and explore new things and meet new people. Yeah, in my opinion, it is really helpful to see people all over the world and learn from the differences between each other. Wow, from person to country, although we have different policies and backgrounds, we all share the same ultimate goal. Let's overcome the pandemic and make people live better. That's, That's right. right. Strengths lies in differences, not in similarities. Together, together we can paint a colorful picture of the world. Cheers! Thank, Thank you. you. Healthcare assistant calling you every day. Yeah, if you have any problem and I happen to be busy in the office, you can ask her. Anything any about chat? Yes, after all, stay home alone but not feeling lonely. It's our policy. Well, how to use the smart devices? No worries. With the AI glasses, just put them on and push the button here, 
a virtual AI assistant will show you. Thanks a lot, young man. I'm happy to. Um, the rental period is two months, so I will be back then. Cheers. Here, mom. Let's get started. Future Medical Corporation. I'm your AI assistant. First, attach your VHA robotic device to your lab. Ah. Scan the QR code. Started. The VHA module has been installed under a doctor's prescription. Really? I'm anxious and lost. Don't be. You can replay the virtual demo anytime. She can hear you? Let's smart. As for the fully automatic smart shower machine, it can guarantee you a safe bath. Safe for an elderly taking a shower alone? Just sit on the chair. It will automatically send you into the shower. The strength and water temperature can be adjusted through voice control. How about the wet floor? After a shower, the chair will send you out of the machine to avoid slipping. That's perfect for me! As for smartphone maps, the mode of full off detection has been linked to the alert system. This is so elderly friendly! Thank you for ordering the service. I can't wait to show off to Melody! Okay, why not? It's an organization. Why is that? Of course, it's because of these smart facilities. Bingo! And as a whole medical care staff, I also like to see how well they benefit the elderly's health. I know. We go out more often. I want to share with you. We love to exercise. They can also use the points to play the claw machine over there. It's my favorite pastime now. Look, the daily necessities I want. And see how healthy they are. Indeed. I can tell with small life, we, we all live a happy life. Thank you. Raymond, now that the pandemic is over and we can finally be with each other. Yeah, I can't wait to see you. Also, Avery is really excited that she can go back to Taiwan to finish her PhD. Yeah, Raymond, we are planning to arrive in Taiwan in September. Wait, Avery, wait. Ella, I need to talk to you. Yeah, what's wrong? I got laid off during the pandemic, and I've returned to my tribe. The economy is back here now. That's totally fine. We're all going through a transition period after the pandemic, and we can make it through this together. Okay, I'm glad that I have you. See you in Taiwan. Bye. Three weeks later. <sighs> so, Ella, Avery, how's it been living here for the past three weeks? It's great. Look at the farm here. It's beautiful. Hey, my neighbor Sumin, what are you doing here? Raymond. There's something wrong with my Miller farm. I'm struggling with maintaining the sale of kavava. Sorry, wait. What's kavava? Kavava is a kind of alcohol made from millet. I got some here. Do you want to try some? Sure. sure. Wow, strong stuff, but it's so good. And you have trouble selling this? Well, Sumi's family is known for producing great kavava, but during the pandemic, their growing operation took a big hit. 
Our whole village has relied on the export of kavava for the past decades. However, during the post-pandemic era, we are in desperate need of help. Wait, it seems that it's gonna rain now. Oh no, I'm trying my mullets. I have to go now, bye. 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 Raymond, the kavava is really good. Don't you think we should try to do something to help? Yeah. I study engineering, you know a lot about marketing, and Raymond is a professional IT guy. I'm sure we can figure something out. Actually, I was just thinking about this before you guys were here. What ideas do you have in mind? What if we make a robot? What can we do with robots? Maybe like a mobile vending machine? We can create a worldwide system that connects with our robot. Yeah, yeah. First, we offer free samples, and if the customers like it, they can tap on the tablet in order. Sounds great. Yeah, it's almost ready. How's our robot prototype coming along? It's great. I finally fixed the system problem. I've updated the software and improved the online platforms. Shall we test it together? Sure. Hello. I'm Mr. Kavava from Taiwan. Kavava is a famous alcoholic drink in my country. Would you like to try our sample? Do you like it? It's good, isn't it? Would you like to order it online? It will be sent to you in 48 hours from Taiwan. Nice, it worked. And now let's try the customization function. Let's try the apple flavor. Customization activated. You have selected apple. Enjoy. Uh, you try this. God. I hope this doesn't taste funny. Wow, the apple flavor doesn't distract from the rich zest of kebaba. It's perfect. Let me try this. The two flavors complement and bring out the best in each other. It'll definitely be a big hit worldwide. Thank God we made it. I can't wait to release this fascinating robot. Thank you guys so much for inviting us to this press conference. We're really excited to announce that our robot, Mr. Kovava, is now operating in more than 30 countries. Because of COVID, the economy in our village was in a terrible shape. But thanks to Mr. Kovava, things are finally turning around for our village. We also used the profits we made to improve the education facilities in my hometown near Hanoi. And we will keep reaching out to the people in need around us, all thanks to Mr. Kavava. Hello, I'm Mr. Kavava from Taiwan. Would you like to try our Kavava? Now, free Kavava for everyone! Cheers!